Trisha and I wanted to welcome each and every one of you tonight and on replay or wherever you're watching this, if this is Facebook in a group, on a page, if it's YouTube, I don't know. But wherever you're watching this, we want to welcome you with open arms into this community of light and love. And we're just going to talk a little bit tonight, I think, about channeling, because, of course, we have a channeling intensive coming up. And I have to tell you, like this for me, I mean, this is like right in my wheelhouse. Um, this channeling intensive starts on the 11th and it's going to be an eight week program. This is our third and final intensive of 2020, the year that surprised us all. <laughs> but isn't it been cool to be in these intensives during these, because like COVID and quarantine, that all happened when we were in the intuitive intensive and we mm -hmm. kept on with the intensive and different workshops through the summer. And now we're going to have one in the fall. It's kind of been awesome to be able to focus on something other than all the things that the world is saying is wrong right now. But this channeling intensive is cool. Do you want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. Are you listening? Okay. <laughs> First and foremost, if you've ever been in uh, metaphysical classes that teach about channeling, they tend to kind of teach certain techniques, which of course we will do. And there tends to be a certain kind of education around channeling. Uh, which is cool, which we'll also have. Mm -hmm. But what sets this intensive apart from any program that I've been a part of, and I did go to Hogwarts, I'm here to tell you, <laughs> but any program that I've been a part of, um, and I've been in many, is that we are actually going to be teaching about channeling, of course, and how to do channeling, of course. But then we're going to be taking the students into specific intentional and directed experiences with spirit. And what I mean specifically about that is we've broken this down week to week to week. And week one is all the foundational stuff that we got to get into. Week two, we're going to have education and then experience with the higher self, Ooh. the oversoul complex. It gives me chills. <laughs> Hello. And all the information that is original to the higher self. Of course, you can get all this high enlightened information from a variety of sources, but you really want to connect with and download from the higher self for, for certain things like life purpose. What am I supposed to be doing with this incarnation? What about my health? What do I need to do next year? What do I need to do to clear this path of mine? So week two, we're going to have a direct intentional experience where students are connecting with this energy, their own energy. Week three, we're getting into... Mm, Angels and Masters, mm. Angels and Masters. And the first class, we're gonna have an experience with Archangels. So this goes beyond what, we've what we did in the intensive, for example. Yeah. We taught about the angels, of course, you guys got some PDFs, but we never walked you through the experience of meeting and connecting with Michael or meeting and connecting with Metatron. Like, what does that feel like? What does it feel and, like? It's beyond what we did in the mediumship intensive too, in case, because in the mediumship yes. intensive, we did go through and we we communicated with, we connected with, we understood the attributes as, as hook-ins. We'll be doing that as well. But this is, like Crystal's saying, demonstrating and laying down the experience so that it is viscerally had. Go ahead, and this is so that. important, right, Trisha? Because- yeah. I get a lot, we get a lot of questions like, well, what does it feel like when an angel's around? Mm -hmm. Or what does Archangel Michael feel like? Or Archangel Metatron, what's that about? Well, you really never know until you experience it. And in other programs that we've had, we've encouraged folks, get into meditation, call on your angels, mm -hmm. you know, and go through an exercise or a technique to have an experience with them. Well, in this coaching program, we are going to actually walk you through that experience. And of course, Trisha, it's going to be different one person to the next one yeah. person might experience, you know, Archangel Uriel as a color, somebody else might hear words, somebody else might have feelings, but we're going to have the experience. Mm -hmm. And what's the next week? What are we doing the next week? I know, but you tell oh, me. Oh, I, oh, I have it right here. So you were just talking about the masters and, um, well, don't forget the masters talk about the masters. Oh yeah. Masters are, I mean, cause masters are, they have, they are, the, the energy is by our perspective, as almost as, I mean, I guess you would say as ascended or I don't know, there's almost the same if we want to call it disparity, which there is no disparity, but the same kind of high frequency, similar on par, similar to the archangelic realm. However, they've walked this path in a specific way. And so they are, em they are embodied and ascended both, meaning in that, that order, embodied and ascended Christ consciousness. That's what it is. And what Christ consciousness is, 
is that it is spirit becoming human or spirit becoming manifest in some way. So if it were, you know, a, a 6D planet with its energy body, it's still a Christ consciousness path of a being from source energy makeup to something that is reorganized into an seemingly individuated experience. So it is the path of becoming, of being, and then also being at one at the same time. And so this is what the masters, this is what the masters present for us. And, well, and masters cool. are, let me just interrupt you and say please that Trisha and I are in contact with all of this. Mm -hmm. And we are creating kind of the pantheon of masters and also archangels, although that's pretty set. Like we know the angels that want to work with the group, but some, the masters we're kind of bringing in and experiencing because each master has something different to offer to people. But so far kind of on the roster, we have Jesus. Hello. Uh, right. We have Buddha, of course. Yes. We have Ganesha, mm -hmm. which I mean, mm -hmm. love Ganesha. We have Saint Germain. Yes. And then we have like th maybe three others, but we have a few powerful ascended masters that want to enter this work and want to meet the students. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm excited. I'm excited too. And it is, I get really, it's like every time Crystal and I do this, we, we say we are downloading brand new spiritual technology and we, and you say it, and spirit says, okay. And we just keep, we don't know how to do it. We're not saying we know how to do it. We just keep saying we will be open to it. And then of course, it's all of the students as everyone else. And it's a co-created experience, but it's, you know, the human side of me gets super, like when you were just talking about it, I started, I got chills and sweats at the same time. <laughs> like I'm so excited ah, and I'm overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed as well, but in, in a very good way, it's always the human part of me gets a little non-present and says, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do it? Oh my gosh, am I going to? But that's cool because as I recognize that, as our students do as well, it's it's actually being the trash is being taken out. It's I'm just seeing, oh, that's that's the part of me that is being loved back into alignment. And it is very, it's very exciting. So as Crystal is saying, it's experiential. So we're going to be demonstrating the channel as a way to say it. So there will be channeling happening as a way for the frequency to come through. And this 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 is something that seemed to with by the by the uh, divine synchronicity which is our birthright really become pertinent for us to do in this program and a few sort of contrasting or negative examples that were presented a couple of months ago and it would be when someone is sort of presenting and this is not to criticize anyone um i'm grateful for you know all of the things that i do that are negative or wrong or contrasting as well as others but someone was presenting some authority and saying such and such deity or such and such angel or such and such, you know, cosmic council said, you must do this and you must believe this and said it plainly like this. And, and, and I said, I don't I don't know why you have that authority. I don't you're not demonstrating the channel to me. And so I don't know how to be able to find whether I resonate or whether I'm discordant with that. And by the way, if I'm discordant with it, it doesn't mean that it's absolutely wrong. It just means I'm discordant with it. But you're not even presenting it. You're not mm -hmm. even demonstrating it, bringing through the frequency directly. So I have no reason to know that the information that is being shown here has any authority or weight. And since it doesn't also on its own bear fruit of love and connection, then I can't really, you know what I mean? I can't be here in this. And so it was something that Crystal and I talked about, and it's like, we need to make sure that we are demonstrating the channel, that we are letting spirit do through us, because that's how it happens, what it is that spirit wants us to understand and experience, and then how how our minds can be changed and renewed. That's really what it's about. So that's when we're saying there's going to be experiences, we mean that the channel will be coming <coughs> through. And so therefore presented, and energy is literal, that means that if I am channeling Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael is presented in this space that we are holding, and then Archangel Michael will be presented to you for you to feel as you as if you are channeling. Now, it's obviously each and every one of our choices, but it's still the demonstration or it's the experience that will be had. So we'll be inducing into deeper states of trance. Again, one must give permission to do that, but we're going to be creating that space, and I'm scared and happy and excited and all of the things. <laughs> Like the scared, that's like the awesome, yeah. like the yeah. awesome, like, oh, yeah. wow, it's big. It's this big stuff. Yeah. And um, 
I'm just grateful just for the, the iterations of fantastic energy and information that continue to flow in this space with our students and just with spirit. So the fourth week is Nature Elementals, Deva's Interdimensionals and Dimensions. That's a packed week. Tell us about it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the <laughs> Elementals and Devas, you know, this, these are ones that are of this. So when Crystal and I, when we create the curriculum for this, which the the you know like the information page is just the skeleton outline because we we then like we like channel that and then we go through little by little and then it's until until the last day of class it's a it's a mm -hmm. you know evergreen document anyway as we were channeling that and we channeled this bit where it's saying exploring the nature kingdom the different types of beings that make up our fairy and nature kingdom and I. I, w I was like, wait, we have to interject there on Earth as well as on other planets. So yeah. we have elemental beings. We have nature spirits. We have fairy kingdom beings and everything who work with us, who create the elements of other stars, of other planets, not just ours, because we're only one energy. And because those of us who are in community like this, who are in the church or in the lodge, however you look at it, of, um, of growing and working together in spirit, we are probably wanderers, meaning we are probably almost certainly we are beings who have come from other planetary, other dimensions, and we aren't, we have been existing on other planes. So we're bringing through the wisdom ourselves of those other experiences of incarnation or energetic expression. And so we're going to be bringing through those energies as well, as well as then, of course, we, so the ones of, of planet Earth, which are just as magical as the ones on, in the Pleiades, but hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, yeah. of course, other cosmic intelligences and interdimensionals. Mm -hmm. And dimensions. <clears throat> and this yes. will be kind of a jump off from the teaching of dimensions that we've gone through before in other programs or on our different podcasts, mm -hmm. YouTubes and all that. We've talked about dimensions, but here again, we're going to experience them. You're going to experience 6D. There's a lot of light. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of geometry. There's a lot going on in 6D. Mm -hmm. We're going to open the space, the chamber for 6D to present itself to you <clears throat> for that experience and that interaction. And so we're talking about ET civilizations, Pleiadians, Arcturians, Orions, Lyrans, and so on and so forth an education yeah. about these beings and their nature to the degree that we can teach on that. Um, and then having that actual direct experience. Now, of course, this is being offered to us. It's being offered to you as the student and it's being offered by spirit, which is alive and which is always moving and which is new every morning. And what I'm saying this for is that it's going to be offered and made available to each and every person in this program, but the program is only ever what you bring to it and your openness and your heart and your willingness to be surprised and kind of have your mind blown. And if you bring that to the program, that's exactly what will happen to that end. What we do want to say though, is that this is not a program for beginners. This is not a program for people who um, aren't acquainted with spirituality necessary, necessarily don't, um, you know, that's just, it's, it's kind of, you've got to search your heart on this one. Yeah. We're in specific looking for people who aren't afraid of the world of spirit. Don't have a lot of issues around, oh my God, am I going to get possessed? Am I going to have a weird spirit in my space? Because of course, week one dominion, sovereignty, mm -hmm. nothing to fear. It's all good and love, and you know how to tell the difference, but we don't want to enter into the program with these preconceived notions about um, fear and, and things of that nature, negative entities. Also, we're looking for folks who kind of know what meditation is, have some sort of a spiritual practice, have made a spiritual connection and know how to do that and have those rudiments in place. Um, and if you don't, like if, if you're not there yet, like this is interesting, but I really don't know how to meditate. And I really don't know how I feel about ghosts or spirits or angels. Then the intuitive intensive is probably the yeah. best fit for you. Um, and that happens next year. This is for students who kind of are a little bit further down the path, but that's also not to discourage you. Again, search your heart, ask spirit. Spirit will always answer. Of course, we don't mean to go on too long about this. We always get really excited before a program as we're downloading, creating, building it out, <clears throat> and even more excited as the students are signing up. We've got a lot of students. I think we've got about 40 students right now and administrators in the space, but we have room to grow and we want to welcome you. Uh, if somebody would drop the following link in the comments, that would be great. It is. It's at the um, top of the learn, description. It's already in the yeah, top. Yeah, in the description. Uh-huh. 
we'll yeah. still drop it in the comments. So it's yeah. nice. To, if you mm -hmm. want to just drop it a couple of times, cool. Learn.lightworkerslab.com slash 2020 CI. That's learn.lightworkerslab.com slash 2020 CI. Check out the sales page. Keeping in mind that um, that's just, like she said, it's the outline. It's really the launching point for the rest of the program and what we are going to be doing the fall, this 2020 fall, irrespective of what's going on in the world is going to be really exciting for the spiritual seekers in that program. Can I get an amen?